First up, we have the Nisha Soft Finish Sun Milk Sunscreen. I could not wait to get my hands on this. I swear I saw this in every single sunscreen thumbnail on YouTube for at least a year, if not longer. It has such a cute, memorable bottle. So I knew I purchased the right one, even though I felt like I didn't when I first tried this out. I was very confused because I was not loving it. It definitely does have that really liquidy running consistency that is typically a trademark of an Asian sunscreen. So at first I was like, yes, this is gonna be great. You guys know I love Asian sunscreens, but it just doesn't have that super lightweight feel that I love in an Asian sunscreen. It definitely does feel a little bit oily on my skin. And as somebody with oily skin, I just don't love that. Plus on top of that, I personally feel this leaves a little bit of a white cast on my skin. It's definitely not the worst I've ever tried, but I was very confused by that as well, knowing how many people love this because I have super, super fair skin naturally. Okay, as you can see, uh, it has no white cast on me and it's not shiny. I have combination skin, so I tend to get oily here, here, and sometimes like right here. <laughs> I also live in a very humid climate, so water all the time, and I have not had an issue. Now, Abby says that she is extremely fair. What are her words? Because I have super, super fair skin naturally. And she looks medium skin tone to me. Maybe because she self tans a lot? I don't know. I am as pale as, paler than most people. There's probably somebody who's paler than I am but it goes on in, invisible to me. I do get white casts from sunscreens. They will turn my skin like a milky color. This does not do that. And it totally lives up the hype. <laughs> the other thing is, and she says it's not for oily skin because it makes her skin oily. Um, I feel like this does give a slight mattifying effect, like a natural matte, a soft matte, a blurring effect, which is why I have a video called Magic Under Makeup. <laughs> This is my third bottle and I'm getting ready to repurchase another because I'm down to the bottom of this one. It's a holy grail for me. It works on the oily parts of my skin as well as the dry parts of my skin. I also found these comments talking about how it does work for darker skin tone for them. So I'm not sure why it has such of a pinky white cast for her, except the fact that we all have different skin, right? All of our skin is different, but I don't, I don't self tan. <laughs> I don't tan at all, you know that. And this works great on my skin. And I am extremely fair. Now she does recommend another sunscreen. And I looked that one up. And she recommends that one instead of the Misha. However, that sunscreen is all chemical. Whereas this one is, this is a mineral sunscreen. So I don't think the two are comparable. I would recommend this Coats one right here. It's very mattifying and it does leave a tint on the skin. It is slightly too pigmented for my skin tone, but I still enjoy it, but I have to drag it down my neck, but it is very mattifying. So I would recommend that one. All right, we've, sit, we've been sitting here talking. It's been about 10 minutes and you can see it's dried down. There's no shine. So I'm like, how are other people getting away with using this if it's looking like this on me? Like this is one of those sunscreens to me on my face. It just sits like skin. And I do put a moisturizer underneath before I apply sunscreen on top. And this one dries down super fast for me. This is the first full Abby Young video I have watched. YouTube recommended her to me. And it's probably because the sunscreen that she talks about here and does not like is my holy grail <laughs> sunscreen. But I am not offended by what she says because we all have different skin. I think it's important to watch a YouTuber ha who has similar skin that you have. That affects how a sunscreen performs, that affects how makeup performs. So this was definitely a fail for me. I was really bummed because I had such high hopes. 